By now, you've probably heard about Edward Snowden. Why is he so polarizing? Who is he? Before we reveal this, let's put to rest the bias of how he rose to fame. In fact, his most recent statement on XRP suggests that he may be aware of certain future specifics about XRPS. Make sure to watch all the way through to the finish to find out. Have you ever considered the simplest way to purchase XRP or any other cryptocurrency without having to register? I'm sure you did. I therefore urge you to use SimpleSwap service. This is the simplest and safest method for buying and selling cryptocurrency. Additionally, it offers one of the best conversion rates for 500 plus coins. Both buying and selling Bitcoin directly to your bank account are now options on Binance, which is no longer an option for some nations. Try them out. Link is provided in the summary. NSA sensitive material was made public in 2013 by Edward Snowden, a former computer scientist and CIA agent. The documents released and made their way to The Guardian, The New York Times, and other significant media outlets revealed that the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance operated numerous international monitoring programs with the help of the NSA and several telecoms businesses. As a result of the Ed Snowden revelations, which became a global issue straining international relations, the documents were obtained by The Guardian, The New York Times, and other crucial media sites. For his protection, Snowden's residence has not been made public. He is presently requesting temporary refuge in Moscow, Russia. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency enthusiast Edward Snowden maintains that cryptocurrencies are not as private and secure as the media portrays. The cost of XRP plummeted when the lawsuit was filed, and it hasn't been able to rise above its previous record high of $3 since. On top of that, all XRP holders on these platforms were unable to withdraw their funds because major cryptocurrency exchanges including Nance, US, and Coinbase delisted XRP from its market. However, JP Morgan predicts that the XRP ledger will gain considerable worldwide adoption. For some reason, despite the continuous difficulties, Ripple continues to collaborate with crucial firms in the fiat industry. More importantly, Ripple Labs' incredible work on the Ripple network has increased adoption globally. Thanks to partnerships with several central banks, Ripple has built a fantastic ecosystem that may be able to sustain its international digital currency. With this, Ripple hopes that its network will provide real solutions for cross-border payments by leveraging the power of blockchain to speed up transactions and lower cross-border payment fees. Additionally, the network offers its partners on-demand liquidity, which is a deal too good to pass up. Due to the fact that the majority of financial institutions, including well-known banks in the U.S., have partnered with Ripple, it seems that the regulatory commission is the only body that views XRP as a security. Politicians have been known to attempt to disparage Ripple, but this is mostly done out of ignorance. Politicians that criticize this coin frequently, if not always, have no concept what cryptocurrency is, let alone how XRP and the Ripple network function. Since they could result in political disagreements, some people have shied away from such conversations. The XRP community has, however, kept a close eye on the legal procedures and has reported any wrongdoing they have come across. Since the majority of XRP enthusiasts had already found hidden evidence, this has been quite advantageous to Ripple's defense. If you've been following along from the beginning, as previously indicated, we're waiting for the court's ruling on the next step, which might end in a settlement or the matter ultimately going to trial. After disclosing the extensive surveillance program used by the American National Security Agency in 2013, Edward Snowden gained notoriety. The whistleblower is currently being detained in a basement in Russia, much like a college student going home for the summer. In 2022, the renowned leaker and head of the Freedom of the Press Foundation believes that the value of cryptocurrencies lies more in their use than in their use as an investment. While speaking remotely at consensus, the whistleblower also referred to the majority of the signatories of a recent anti-crypto letter to Washington as prolific public trolls. 2022 and 2013, I used Bitcoin to pay for the server Suedo Anonymous Services. In a virtual presentation on Saturday at the Coindesk's Consensus 2022 conference in Austin, Texas, Snowden claimed, 
when he published sensitive material on the National Security Agency's monitoring of U.S. people in 2013, he shot to stardom. Unlike many in the community, I don't usually encourage others to invest in cryptocurrencies as a technology. In a letter to American lawmakers earlier this month, a group of professionals criticized cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology in order to denounce the industry's lobbying operations, he claimed. Snowden backed the crypto industry in response to the criticism. Based on Snowden, the signatories purposefully expressed confusion about the cryptocurrency industry while reiterating numerous worn-out arguments. According to Snowden, the letter serves as justification for the status quo. There are numerous approaches to solve each of their problems. All parties here too have knowledge of the subject matter hereof. Naturally, they should. Bruce Scowl Snowden commended one of the letter's major signatories for his work on cryptography. Regarding the current state of internet privacy, Snowden referred to many of the letter's signatories as prolific public trolls. He also said that while he thinks great strides have been made in encrypting communications, he is still worried about metadata or records that indicate communications occurred. Snowden advised seeing it as a van with dark windows traveling down a highway. He added that other data, including the vehicle's origin and destination times, could be seen, even though it was impossible to tell who they were. We have to make sure nobody can see that level. In order to avoid becoming lost in a sea of vans because everyone is driving the same kind, according to Snowden, more transactions must be standardized. After his admission in 2013, in 2020, Russia awarded Snowden rights to permanent residency after the U.S. charged him with espionage and provided asylum. Despite being a strong supporter of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, Snowden has made it clear that cryptos are not as secure as we think they are or as the media suggests. In a Blockstat presentation in Berlin in 2018, Snowden made the claim, The public ledger of Bitcoin may be more problematic than its transaction costs and speed restrictions. Bitcoin includes a public ledger that keeps track of all transactions and wallet history, which concerns Snowden since it might draw the attention of nations that forbid the technology. These allegations were supported by papers he had previously released as a whistleblower, which hinted that the NSA might already be keeping an eye on the public blockchain ledger. Because of this, according to Snowden, the ideal cryptocurrency is one that provides users with the highest level of privacy advantages. He even said that Z currency is intriguing since it offers special privacy features. He added that it is encouraging to see more and more cryptos imitate XRP and Ripple for Zcash. Definitely complete the task. One thing is for certain, XRP sets itself apart from the other cryptocurrencies available today. A decentralized cryptocurrency is XRP. While many others are not, Ripple and XRP seek to be a rival to the established financial system because of their distinctive qualities. It might endure several different cryptocurrencies. In addition, Snowden has highlighted worries about internet privacy given his current circumstances. He claimed that while communication encryption has undergone a substantial improvement, he has long-standing problems with metadata and records that demonstrate communications took place. What is halting the bull run for XRP is the ongoing litigation against Ripple, notwithstanding the fact that the complaint is based on false accusations. While Ethereum and Bitcoin share many characteristics with XRP and are therefore exempt from regulation, the regulatory commission has singled out XRP. In response to a question regarding his opinions on the Ukraine war, Snowden stated that he wished it had never begun and hoped it would end as soon as possible. Because I am aware that my opinions will be interpreted incorrectly, I have not gone into length about the Ukraine issue. They won't talk about the setting. He declared. He added that he was writing a book about the conflict and would eventually release it. The price increase during this bull market was severely slowed down by the litigation against Ripple. Although Ethereum and Bitcoin, which are similar to XRP and are not considered securities by the SEC, and even though the price of XRP fell by 70%, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has continued to condemn Ripple Labs' incorporated major cryptocurrency exchanges, including Coinbase and Crypto.com, froze trading immediately after the lawsuit was filed. 
preventing XRP holders from withdrawing their assets. It has since failed to reach its previous record high of $3. Although the XRP asset has some restrictions in the United States, JP Morgan's North America Equity Analysis Research Study, which was published earlier this month, predicts that it will find widespread use. Many important alliances have been formed through XRP. To create its own national digital currency, the Republic of Palau has teamed with XRP. The XRP ledger would be used by the national stablecoin since it is energy and carbon neutral, according to a statement from Ripple. Like El Salvador, the Republic of Palau lacks its own fiat currency and is primarily dependent on the U.S. dollar. This appears to be Snowden's motivation for using cryptocurrencies, especially when they can be used as a cross-border payment channel to help Ripple establish a strategic cross-border payment infrastructure by banking Palaos and banked inhabitants. The CEO said that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC litigation was about to come to a close in an interview with CNBC. Gary Garland now that the courts are aware that the problem extends beyond XRP and House's opinion. They are starting to pose challenging queries. However, the judge ruled that certain XRP owners are ineligible to join as defendants in the ongoing legal action. Holders of XRP also filed friends of the court affidavits allowing them to support Ripple by becoming defendants in the case. Nevertheless, mining is necessary for all coins. For XRP, things are different because the company only produced a maximum of 100 billion XRP coins, and more than three-thirds of them have already been purchased. To regulate the token's quantity and circulation, the corporation routinely distributes the remaining tokens. Using cryptocurrencies reduces inflation. Because fewer coins are in circulation thanks to transactions. From the famed whistleblower's tweet on July 18th, here is a helpful guarantee to XRP holders. It goes like this, the XRP future will be completely wild. Do you believe this to be true? Please share your thoughts in the section below.